Welcome, I'm so happy you've joined me for this class. In this video, we are going to work primarily on strengthening and opening up the front side of the body. So we're gonna really work the hip flexors, the abdominals, and we're gonna do lots of spinal waving. So whenever you're ready, we'll begin in a tabletop position. So from your tabletop position, first of all, before you do anything else, take a moment to find your rhythm of breathing that you can keep throughout this class. It's so important to establish that smooth and steady breath. In through the nose, out through the nose. Remember that your lungs expand in all directions, 360 degrees. So even as you establish this breath through the nose, you can begin rocking forwards and backwards over your wrists. A little bit of multitasking going on. This is one thing that I really like to do. It can save time, but it can also kind of strengthen our mindfulness muscles. Begin to be aware of two things happening at once. Rolling the shoulders around the wrists, Paying attention to feeling any areas of your body that feel tight or weak or anything like that, but still paying attention to that breath. You can circle around in both directions. So if you've just been circling in one direction, go ahead and switch over. Just warming up into the wrists and use your breath, use the exhale especially to get the core muscles engaged, the abdominal muscles lifting up. Good. And when you're ready, we'll just come back to that tabletop position and begin working into some cat-cow movement. So as you inhale, lift the top of the head and the tailbone towards the ceiling. As you exhale, bring the tailbone down towards the mat, look back towards your feet, lift the abdominals up towards the low back. Inhale, back into your cow pose, that arched back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together behind you. Exhale, round, press the shoulder blades wide into your cat pose. One more time, inhale, cow. And remember these positions, this extended spine through the cow pose. And exhale, undo everything and go all the way into the other direction in your cat pose. Remember this shape, this flexed spine. Now come back to neutral. We'll, we'll do the same thing, this cat-cow, but instead we're gonna make it a little bit of a spinal wave. And so all that means is we're gonna start with the hips, with the tailbone, and imagine that you're waving your spine one vertebra at a time. So as you lift up the tailbone into this arch, slowly let the rest of the spine follow. So your head comes up last. Then keep your head up and your shoulder blades retracted as you go towards the cat pose, starting with the tailbone with the hips round and slowly bring the rounding to the thoracic spine and finally your head is the last thing. Let's do that two more times. So start with the hips tilting forwards to lift the tailbone up. I think we're going to get a little visitor here. Hi Noodle. <laughs> slowly rolling your spine one vertebra at a time. It may feel really strange. It may feel funny. Begin tilting the hips back now, rolling nice and slow, then bringing the head back last. And we'll start to make these movements a little bit more exaggerated. So bend the elbows as you move into your cow pose and sink your hips back slightly towards your heels as you move towards your cat pose, but still kind of rolling the spine as if you're going one vertebra at a time, letting the hips lead. So the head is the last thing to make it into this position. Now just widen the stance between your hands and your knees a little bit. And we're gonna exaggerate those movements a little bit more. So from this rounded spine, like a cat position, start to push the hips forward as you open up through the hips, pull your heels towards your butt then squeeze the shoulder blades together to open up the chest and finally lift the head. So we come towards a kind of king cobra. Then we're going to lift the tailbone up. Keep a little bit of arch in your back as you push the hips back. 
landing your feet down on the mat behind you. When you go towards this child's pose position, then round the spine, lift the abdominals up, press down through the hands in a really active child's pose. Then bend the elbows, look forward, start to arch the spine, pull the heels up with you as your hips go forward, squeeze the glutes to open up through the front of the hips, open the chest, draw the head back, push the hips up, Keep your cow shape as you push the hips back, lower the feet down behind you. When your feet lower, then round through the spine to lift up the abdominals in this kind of, kind of a active puppy pose, active child's pose kind of shape. One more time, scoop your chest forward, keep your heels glued toward your butt as you open up into this king cobra, really active, so we're not sinking down and trying to go into a deep back bend, keeping the abdominals really active and spinal wave yourself back to that child's pose. So if you get a little bit of a rhythm going, you'll start to get this kind of flowing movement of your spine between this king cobra kind of shape and this child's pose kind of shape. So feel free to work through that a few times on your own. Just get a feel for it. It's kind of challenging to get the feel of it at first, but the more you practice it, the easier it'll become. All right, so from your child's pose, keep your weight back towards the, the toes and your hands pressing actively down into the mat. Can you keep your shoulders open and just start to lift your knees up, slowly coming towards a downward facing dog as you bring the hips towards the ceiling you don't have to straighten the knees all the way. Work into a downward facing dog, keep the shoulders nice and open, and just check that your abdominals are still nice and active, holding your spine in its neutral shape. Take an inhale. As you exhale, come high onto the tiptoes, roll your spine into that cat shape as you bring the shoulders forward, squeeze your glutes, we come through a really high plank, Keep squeezing your glutes to lower your hips towards your wrists and let this wave your spine into an upward facing dog, but we'll stay on the toes here. From your upward facing dog, pull the chin back, bend the knees, push your tailbone high towards the sky as you lift your hips up first towards this downward facing dog and slowly wave through a neutral spine, high on the tip toes, back through that really high plank with a rounded spine, glutes nice and active, shoulders come forward over the wrists. Keep pressing the hips forward and down towards the wrists, stay on the tops of the toes as you lower the hips and lift the chest, finally lift the head back to that tops of the toes, upward facing dog, bend the knees, keep your spine a little bit arched as you press the chest back, come through your downward facing dog and roll forward once again through that high plank, lower the hips down. So we're just adding these spinal waves to downward facing dog and upward facing dog. And again, you can just roll through these a few more times. Bend the knees, bend the elbows to help you move through these positions and keep the abdominal muscles and the glutes active as well. So we're not trying to go into any kind of deep back bending postures or anything like this. Really, I want you to think about trying to move as much as possible, like one vertebra at a time. Of course, the spine works as a single unit. We won't actually isolate the movement of each vertebra, but that's kind of the intention. That's the, the thought process behind it to help us move through these spinal waves. So just give it a go one more time, rolling between your upward facing dog and your downward facing dog. And we'll finish together in our downward facing dog. Again, just settle into this posture. You can have your feet hip width distance. Feels a little bit more comfortable there. Press through the shoulders, find that neutral spine, a little bit of abdominal engagement. Bend the knees and come high onto the tiptoes. Look forward at your hands so you can see where you're going. Take an inhale and hop up to the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, fold down into a standing forward fold. Bend the knees and we're gonna roll. Use that spinal wave kind of movement to roll ourselves up 
one vertebra at a time, keep the knees bent all the way to the top. So standing at the front of your mat, just take a moment, make sure that your feet are at least hip width distance, maybe even a little bit wider and put some softness into your knees. We're gonna bring that spinal wave movement now into standing. It's a little bit tricky and I hope that I can cue you through it. And all it looks like is we'll start with the hips, we'll lead with the hips with a little bend in the knees, squeeze the glutes, and start to press the hips forward. Try and keep your shoulders where they are to begin with, but then the shoulders will come back as you open up through the front body. Then think cow pose as you push the hips back so you're opened up through the front body, the chest comes forward, and you start to think cat pose as you round. Tailbone comes down towards the floor, knees are bent, roll forward to push the hips forward, let the chest follow, go through your back bend, open up through the front body, push the hips back, chest comes forward, then you want to think round, think cat pose, engage the abdominals to crunch nice and small. So we'll just keep moving through these positions. So you kind of hit that chair pose. This is one you're probably familiar with, a chair pose kind of position, nice back bend. And then tuck the tailbone at the back to press the hips forward, roll, open up through the front body, and then close it again. So just like we've done before, you can just kind of flow through this. There's really no wrong way to do this. Just get a kind of like fluidity through the spine, okay? Hopefully your windows are closed so your neighbors can't see you <laughs> because we probably all look a little bit silly and that is okay. One more time, big spinal wave and come back to neutral. Reach your arms up overhead, take an inhale. As you exhale, clasp your hands behind your head, bring the elbows towards each other, draw the elbows down, bringing the chin towards the chest and roll all the way down. Imagine you're trying to get your elbows to touch your hip bones. Keep your abdominals pulling in towards your spine and slowly sink your elbows down towards your ankles. Bend the knees and lower your hips down towards your heels. When you get to your malasana, your squat, reach the arms high overhead, open up through the shoulders, but keep the rib cage down. Inhale, exhale, reach the hands forward. Start to press through the heels to lift the hips high, keep the chest low. Straightening through the knees and then allow the Glutes squeezing to slowly pull you up, rolling one vertebra at a time back up to the top. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, clasp the hands, bring the elbows together around the forehead. Draw the chin down towards the chest. Roll down. First, try and get the elbows as high towards the hips as you can, and then slide them down towards the ankles. Bend the knees, lower the hips down towards the heels into your malasana, your yogi squat, then inhale, reach the arms up high above you. Exhale, take them as far forward as you can. Allow the fingers to slide back towards the toes as you straighten the knees and lift the hips high, keep the chest low. Squeeze your glutes to roll yourself all the way back up to stand. Good, inhale, reach the arms up one more time. Exhale, fold down just in the normal way. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, step the left foot to the back of the mat. Engage your abdominals. Think about that cat pose. Bend the back knee to roll yourself up towards a crescent lunge. Keep that back knee bent as you reach the arms up. Inhale, exhale, bring the elbows down in line with the shoulders, open up through the chest. Think about opening through the front body rather than back bending. It's more about trying to stretch out the pecs and the hip flexors of the left leg. Inhale, as you exhale, straighten both knees, reach the arms high above you and press your hips forward and your chest back. Think about that cat shape. Inhale, open back up, think cow. Draw the elbows down in line with the shoulders. Exhale, straighten the right knee, press the hands high towards the front of the room. Inhale, open up, bend the right knee, bend the elbows. Exhale, think about that cat shape, round. Good, one more time, inhale, open up towards that crescent lunge. As you exhale, slowly bend the back knee to lower it down to the mat. Inhale, straighten the right knee. As you exhale, just bring your hands down to your hips. 
for a moment. And I want you to make sure that your hips are not tilting forwards and getting a back bend. I want you to think about tilting them backwards so you're really squeezing that left glute, especially opening up through the left hip flexor. And we're gonna slowly, with the engagement of our abdominals, keeping everything nice and stable, lean our chest back until you can lower your left hand down to the mat, just on the outside of the left foot. Reach the right arm up, inhale, exhale, look down at your left hand, pick up the left foot so you can swivel on your left knee all the way around to lower your right hand down next to the left. You may even be off your mat, that's okay. Press down into the right toes, lift the left knee in line with the right, pull the left heel towards your butt. As you inhale, keep the glutes active, press your hips towards your wrists, just like we did before in that upward facing dog. This time, the left heel is pulling up towards the butt. Spinal waves again, so bend the elbows a little bit, bend the right knee and spinal wave yourself up through a downward facing dog, but keep pulling that left heel towards the butt. Roll through a cat shape, lift your abdominals up towards the spine, round through the upper back, through a plank pose, squeeze the glutes to push the hips towards the wrists, open up into an upward facing dog, left heel still pulling towards the butt, bend the right knee, push your chest back towards the thigh, lift the hips high, round, Little spinal waves here with one leg. Really working that right hip flexor as you go through this one-legged up dog, down dog spinal wave. One more time. And we'll finish in a high plank. So hips in line with the shoulders, shoulders over the wrists. Roll into the outside of the right foot. I know you're going off your mat now, that's okay. Lower the top of the left foot down onto the mat you can touch the hips down if you need a little break or press the hips high towards the ceiling coming into a wild thing. Keep the glutes nice and active. Think about opening up through the front body rather than back bending. Inhale here. As you exhale, look down at your right hand. Lower the left hand down to pick up the left foot behind you. Lower the left knee down underneath the hip. Swivel on the knee to bring the left foot pointing to the back of the mat, the right foot swivels around to face the front. We're back where we started in this kind of one-legged camel. Begin to bend the right knee to pull yourself up through your low lunge. Windmill your arms, lower the left hand down, reach the right hand up. Tuck the left toes and lift the left knee up. Whew, so that was a bit of fun. We're gonna do that two more times just so we can really get it flowing. So I'll talk you through it two more times, but we're gonna speed up a bit, okay? So lower the left knee down, reach both hands up, engage the abdominals and the glutes to reach the chest back, lower the left hand down next to the left foot, reach the right hand up, look down at the left hand, pick up the left foot, swivel around into a one-legged plank, keep pulling the left heel towards the butt, squeeze the glutes to press the hips towards the wrists, roll onto the outside of the right foot, lower the top of the left foot down on the mat and lift the hips up into a wild thing, inhale. Exhale, look down at the mat, lower the left hand down, pick the left foot up, bring it all the way around, lower the left knee down, swivel to point it to the back of the mat and allow the right foot to swivel around to face the front. Squeeze your abdominals, crunch, pull yourself up, windmill the arms, lower the left hand down, reach the right hand up, tuck the left toe under and pick up that back knee into a little twist. Take a breath here, we're gonna do it one more time, a little bit faster. So lower the left knee down, windmill your arms back to this one-legged camel, look down at the mat behind you, swivel around, pick up the left knee, lower down to your one-legged up dog, swivel it all the way around to the left to lift the hips up into your wild thing. Inhale here, exhale, look back down at the mat, swivel all the way around through to that one-legged camel, and windmill everything into your revolved lunge. Take an inhale here, exhale. Lower the right hand down, put a little bend in the left knee and roll yourself back up to that crescent lunge. Lift yourself up out of your crescent lunge so you're nowhere near like as deep as you can go. We're gonna just do 10 little bounces in that crescent lunge. So squeeze the glutes, find engagement through the abdominals. Inhale, and we'll bounce for 10, nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last bounce, we're gonna bounce up to a warrior three. Put a little bend in the right knee. Draw the left knee towards your chest. We're gonna do spinal waves here, okay? So we've been doing them in all sorts of positions. Um, and now it's time to do them standing on one leg. So as you draw the left knee towards your chest, we'll roll up, start to keep the right knee bent, start to press the hips forward as you bring the chest back and keep the chest open as you draw the left leg back behind you. Whatever your arms are doing, it doesn't matter. You can bring them overhead, maybe hit a little king dancer pose. Maybe you even reach your foot back behind you. Then we'll Kind of dive your chest forward. Think about that cat shape as you draw the left knee forward. Try not to lose your balance. Bend the right knee. Slowly roll yourself up to stand. Think king dancer. Hit that king dancer pose and then round your spine. Tuck the tailbone to draw the left knee in towards your chest. Bend in the right knee. Roll. Think about like a reverse warrior three on the way back. Draw the left knee back behind you, open up towards the king dancer pose. One more time, draw the left knee forward as you round through the spine. Draw the forehead and left knee towards each other, then keep the chest low towards the knee as you bring the left knee in line with the right. You can lower your hands down to the mat here. You can bend the right leg if you need to as well. Just keep pulling that left heel towards your butt. And we're going to go for a little bit of rocking into the hands off of the foot. So it may just look like this. You may find that you can lift all the way up to a handstand. Or maybe you, you can do little hops. And we'll just bring that right foot all the way back to lower down into a chaturanga. Keep the left heel pulling up towards the butt. Lift up into your one-legged upward facing dog. Keep that left heel pulled towards the butt as you lift the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Lower the left foot down. Take a few breaths here. Back in your downward facing dog, good old traditional down dog. Hopefully your spine at this point is feeling really nice and juicy and fluid. You can move around in whatever way you like. Just take a few breaths here, kind of recalibrate your smooth breathing through the nose. Maybe take a moment to be grateful for your spine, how it really carries you. It literally carries you through this life that you have. And it moves in all different directions, you know? It really does allow for so much of what we do. So it's nice to take a moment to be grateful for it. When you're ready, we'll lift the heels, bend the knees, look forward towards the hands, take a little hop up to the top of the mat, inhale for length, exhale, fold back down, bend the knees, roll yourself up to stand, inhale, reach the arms up high, keep the glutes active, keep the core active, exhale, fold back down, Uttanasana. Inhale, come up halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. As you exhale, step the right foot to the back of the mat. Put a little bend in the right knee and roll yourself up. Think cat pose. Think about tilting your pelvis back as you roll up towards a crescent lunge. Inhale at the top. Exhale. Inhale, bend the elbows. Keep pushing the right hip forward, opening up through the right hip flexors as you squeeze the shoulder blades together behind you. Stretch out through the chest. Exhale, straighten both knees, reach the hands forward and up, tuck the tailbone under, think cat pose. Inhale, open up, think cow. Exhale, straighten both knees, think cat. Inhale, bend the left knee, open up and exhale. Squeeze your abdominals to help round through the spine. One more time, inhale through that crescent lunge, lower the right knee down to the mat, tuck the right toes under and straighten the left knee. Bring your hands to your hips. Make sure that you've got a posterior tilt of the pelvis so you're tilting your hips backwards. You've got like an ugly butt. Look behind you, not sexy butt. 
Sandwich your core nice and strong as you bring the chest back, back, back until you can lower the right hand down to the mat right next to your right foot. Reach the left arm up, keep the glutes active. Inhale, as you exhale, look down at your right hand. Pick up the right foot so you can swivel around on the knee. Lower the left hand down next to the right. Onto the tops of the left toes, pick up the right knee. Keep it in line with the left knee. As you squeeze the glutes, push the hips forward, keep the abdominals active, open up into a one-legged upward facing dog. Just like before, we'll do the little spinal waves here with just one leg up. So back and forth between your one-legged up dog and your one-legged down dog. Think about rolling through a cat shape in your plank and then opening up into your cow shape in that up dog. Keep the cow shape as you push the hips back. Roll forward through plank one more time. Push back, downward facing dog. And last time, come through to your plank. Right heel still pulling up towards the butt. Roll into the outside of the left foot. Lower the top of the right foot to the mat. You can sink the hips down, get a little bit of a break, but then push your hips high into your wild thing. Take an inhale here. Exhale, look down at the left hand to swivel everything back into your plank with the right heel still pulling towards the butt. Lower the right knee down, swivel on that knee until the right foot is pointing to the back of the mat. The left foot faces forward. Bend into the left knee, glutes and abs nice and active. Windmill your arms to lower your right hand to the mat, reach the left arm up, maybe pick up that back knee in your twist. So remember, we'll do this two more times. We'll pick up the pace a little bit. So lower the right knee down, windmill your arms, squeeze the abs and the glutes, lower your right hand to the mat next to your right foot, reach the left arm up, inhale, exhale, pick up the right foot, swivel around on the knee, come straight into your Plank position, lower the hips down into your upward facing dog, right heel pulling towards the butt, roll onto the outside of the left foot, top of the right foot comes down to the mat, push the hips up into your wild thing. Inhale here, exhale, we'll go all the way through our one-legged plank to lower the right knee down, swivel around into our one-legged camel, bend into the left knee, windmill the arms, lower the right hand down to the inside of the left foot, tuck the back toes under to lift the back knee up as you extend your left arm towards the ceiling one more time. Inhale, exhale, lower the right knee down, windmill the arms through your one-legged camel, make it fluid as you lift all the way up and around into your plank, lower the hips down, one-legged up dog, roll onto the outside of the left foot. Come into your wild thing, inhale. Exhale through that plank position. Lower the knee down, swivel around. Hit your one-legged camel, bend into the left knee, windmill the arms all the way through into your revolved lunge. Inhale, exhale, lower the left hand down. Squeeze the thighs together, put a little bend in the back knee. Roll yourself up towards that crescent lunge, but we'll push our hips up and out of it just a little bit so we've got some space to bounce. Remember on the last bounce, we'll bounce to our warrior three. So we'll go four, 10, nine, eight, glutes active, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bounce to warrior three. Just real quick as a transition and then pull the right knee towards your chest. Put a little bend in the left knee. Roll through a kind of cat shape position of your spine and slowly begin to push the hips forward. Think about like a reverse warrior three now where the left leg is extended out in front. The chest is back. Stay nice and active. Begin to draw the right leg back behind you. It doesn't matter if you wanna keep your arms out of this or if you wanna get your arms involved and maybe hit like a really active king dancer, then draw the right knee towards your chest, round through the spine. Think about that cat shape again. Keep the left knee bent, draw the chest back, keep the glutes active, core active, draw your heel back towards your head, hit your king dancer pose, and then round through the spine to draw the knee towards the chest. One more time, make it fluid as you open up, push the hips forward, open up through the chest, and dive forward, bring the knee towards the chin. Keep the knee and the chin close as you lower the knee in line with the left knee and lower your hands down to the mat. Adjust if you need to, bend the left knee if you need to. You can also just hang out here, 
or if you want, you can practice. This is really good sort of press handstand practice, just shifting your weight forward and back into your hands and then off of them. And when you're ready, we'll take a little hop back into Chaturanga, right heel is still pulling towards the butt, open up into your one-legged upward facing dog, use the abdominals to lift your hips back and up, lower the right foot down. And whew, we got through it. Back into our downward facing dog. So once again, just take a moment here to smooth your breathing back out. When you're ready, lift the heels up, lower the knees all the way down to the mat beneath you. Raise your chest up, come into a kneeling position. Bring your hands to your hips. I wanna see your ugly butt. So really tilt your tailbone down towards the floor. Open up through the front of the hips. Squeeze your spine with your abdominals and push the chest back. So really just opening up through the front of the body, focusing on the hip flexors and the abdominals more than anything else. And then like you're doing crunches, bring yourself back up, bring your hands down, push up into a downward facing dog. Then we'll roll back through those positions again to lower the knees into tabletop, squeeze the glutes to push the hips forward. Keep pushing the hips forward as you bring the chest back, using the abdominals to support you. Go back as far as you can and lift back up like you're doing crunches, hands back down. One more time, push everything up, downward facing dog. Lower the knees back down in your tabletop, try and hit that cow pose, really ooh, lifting up through the core. So we're engaging the core the whole time, we're engaging the glutes the whole time as we straighten up through the hips and extend through the front body. Push the hips forward, open up through the abdominals. Oh, one more time, crunch your way back to kneeling. Bring the tops of the feet down to the mat and sink your hips down. We'll just come onto our bums now with our legs forward. Scoot forward wherever you need to do and we're gonna just come down onto our backs. We've done enough flowing now. It's time to relax. So I want you to take a moment here lying on your back with your knees drawn in to your chest. Close your eyes and feel in your body what it means to you to be existing in this vessel that is your body right now? How do you feel? What sensations are you getting from your body? And just notice with a sense of curiosity, a sense of intrigue. There's no judgment or criticism. And I want you to take that awareness and allow it to dictate any last movements that you want to make now in your body. Whatever you feel your body might need. So maybe some twists, maybe you're ready to take your Shavasana, maybe you want to just sit up and do some breathing exercises. Whatever that may be, try and understand for yourself what your body needs. I really think that the practice of yoga above all else is to become so aware of the present moment and ourselves. We don't need guidance all the time. We become our own gurus. When you're ready, when you know it's right for you, you can take your feet to the corners of the mat and open your arms up towards the ceiling or find whatever position works for you right now, today, in this moment, to close your eyes and find a sense of stillness so that you can take this feeling into the rest of your day. Do feel free to stay there for as long as you know you need to, but I will leave you for now. Thank you so much for joining me. It really makes me so happy to see you here in this class with me. Please make sure and subscribe and have an amazing day. Namaste.